The National Congress Spanish, Congreso Nacional, is the legislative branch of the government of Honduras. Organization The Honduran Congress is a unicameral legislature. The nominal president of the National Congress of Honduras is currently Mauricio Oliva. Its members are 128 deputies, who are elected on a proportional representation basis, by department, to serve four-year terms. Meeting place Congress meets in a purpose-built legislative palace Palacio Legislativo in the center of Tegucigalpa. Of a modernist design, it is painted in an array of bright colors and rests on a series of concrete pillars that separate it from the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Directive Topic. 2018 to 2022 legislative period The current directive of the National Congress is Mauricio Oliva President PNH Antonio Cesar Rivera First Vice President PNH Dennis Armando Castro Second Vice President APH Milton Jesus Puerto Oseguera Third Vice President PNH Mario Noé Villafranca, fourth vice president, UD. Felicito Avila Ordonez, fifth vice president, DC. Gladys Aurora López, sixth vice president, PNH. Roman Valeda Aguilar, seventh vice president, PNH. Eldon Vazquez, alternate vice president, PNH. Walter Antonio Chavez Hernandez, alternate vice president, PNH. Olga Josefa Ayala Alvarenga, alternate vice president, PNH. Dunia Lizette Ortiz Cruz, alternate vice president, APH. Jose Tomas Zambrano Molina, first secretary, PNH. Salvador Valeriano Pineda, second secretary, PNH. Teresa Concepcion Calix Rodales, first pro secretary, PNH. Rossel Renan and Estroza Martinez, second pro secretary, PNH. Gerardo Tulio Martinez Pineda, alternate secretary, PNH. Wilmer Reynel Neil Velasquez, alternate secretary, PNH. Topic: 2014 to 2018 legislative period. The current directive of the National Congress is. Mauricio Oliva, President, PNH. Gladys Aurora Lopez, First Vice President, PNH. Lina Gutierrez Arevalo, Second Vice President, PNH. Antonio Rivera Callejas, Third Vice President, PNH. Milton De Jesus Puerto, Fourth Vice President, PNH. Miguel Edgardo Martinez, Fifth Vice President, PNH. Augusto Cruz Asensio, Sixth Vice President, DC. Edwin Roberto Pavon, seventh vice president, UD. Rolando Dubin Buso, alternate vice president, PNH. Ramon Antonio Leva Bolnis, alternate vice president, PNH. Jose Vicente de Leon Rojas, alternate vice president, PNH. Mario Alonso Perez, first secretary, PNH. Roman Valeda Aguilar, second secretary, PNH. Jose Maria Martinez, alternate secretary, PNH. Wilmer Neil Velasquez, alternate secretary, PNH. Jose Tomas Zambrano, first pro secretary, PNH. Sara Ismina Medina Gallo, second pro secretary, PNH. Topic: 2010 to 2014 legislative period. The directive of the National Congress for the period 2010 to 2014 is Juan Orlando Hernandez, President, PNH. Lina Gutierrez Arevalo, First Vice President, PNH. Marlon Lara, Second Vice President, PLH. Ramon Velasquez Nazar, Third Vice President, DC. Marvin Ponce, Fourth Vice President, PUD. 
Martha Concepcion Guevara, fifth vice president, PNH. Nora de Melgar, sixth vice president, PNH. Rigoberto Chong Castillo, first secretary, PNH. Gladys Aurora Lopez, second secretary, PNH. Alicio Noel Mejia, pro secretary, PNH. Yariel Waldina Paz, pro secretary, PLH. Oscar Orlando Burgos, alternate vice president, PNH. Victoria Carrasco Garcia, alternate vice president, PNH. Ángel Banigas, alternate secretary, PLH. Milton De Jesus Puerto, alternate secretary, PNH. Topic: Elections. The most recent election was held November 2013. Previous elections were held in 2009, 2005 and 2001. Topic: 2013 legislative elections. Topic: Changes in political groups. Some of the opposition parties, particularly the Liberal, Libre and PAC have faced internal division. This division had more impact on Libre, which led to the dismissal and the resignation of some of their congressional partisans. During the first week of session in 2014, Congressman Eduardo Cotto was expelled from Libre for voting in favor of the national, D.C. PUD directive integration, which was also supported by the Liberals. On the following months, Cotto joined the D.C. On February 21, 2015, Congresswoman Tatiana Canales announced her incorporation to the Liberal Party, after failed negotiations with PAC. Nonetheless, three days later, the authorities of Libre decided to expel her even though she had already resigned and three other congressmen after they voted against an electoral reform that was introduced to Congress by the former president and current party leader of Libre, Manuel Zelaya Rosales. Together, the three expelled congressmen and Canales formed an independent bloc headed by Congresswoman Jenny Murillo. On April 9, 2015, the National Congress of Honduras processed the resignations of Congressman Hector Enrique Padilla from Libre and substitute Congresswoman Claudia Patricia Molina from the Liberal Party. Since Molina is a substitute congresswoman, this change does not affect the number of members of the Liberal Caucus. Nonetheless, Padilla's resignation reduced the number of Libre congressmen to 32. Later on, Padilla joined the independent group formed by former members of Libre. The total number of members of the Libre caucus was reduced to 31 after Atlantida Congresswoman, Adelia Rodriguez resigned from that party and joined the independent group on May 5, 2015. Rodriguez stated that the lack of direction in Libre has led to the impossibility of giving response to the people that elected her, but later she joined to the Christian Democratic Party. The deputy of the independent group Hector Padilla has joined to the Christian Democratic Group, and with the new deputy now they have three deputies in the group. In the later months the congresswoman Adelia Rodriguez has joined to the Christian Democratic Party now counting with four deputies also in February 2016. Libre has expelled the deputies Esdras Amado Lopez and Dennis Antonio Sanchez of Francisco Morazan and Santa Barbara respectively, based on the reason that they have voted in favor of a new Supreme Court of Justice. Since four of PAC's congressmen did not make their vote public during the Supreme Court election, Salvador Nasralla accused them of being now congressmen of the National Party. Nonetheless, they have not been formally expelled of the party, but later, on March 18, the leaders of PAC finally decided to temporarily suspend the membership of the four of the deputies that participated in the election of a new Supreme Court of Justice. The four suspended congressmen are Ana Jocelina Fortin, Marlene Alvarenga, Kritza Perez, and Oscar Palacios. In April 2016, the deputy of the independent group Tatiana Canales finally has decided to return to the Liberal Party of Honduras, with the reason that they have expressed differences with Libre, and its return means that the Liberal Caucus has officially 28 deputies. Also on the half of May 2016, the deputy of the independent group Omar Rodriguez has decided to return to the Liberal Party now with 29 deputies on the caucus. On the final days of the month of May the deputy Dennis Antonio Sanchez has decided to return to the Liberal Party now with 30 deputies on their caucus, now the party is the second largest political group in the Congress. 
In July 2016, the deputy of the independent group Yeni Murillo has decided to return to the National Party of Honduras, with the reason that she is feeling changes in the form of life in Honduras, also had said that she is in favor of the re-election but with a regulation that will be established on the Constitution of the Republic, to limit how many times a president can be re-elected. Also in the final week of September 2016, the deputy of the independent group Kritza Perez has decided finally to be a member of the Liberal Party of Honduras based on the reason that in his first party pack, they don't allow the pluralism of ideas and discrimination against women that they have announced several times on the national media. On the first days of November 2016, the deputy of the independent group Anna Jocelina Fortin has decided to join to the National Party of Honduras based on the reason that she wants the re-election of the current president and to establish limits on how many times a president can be re-elected. On the first days of December 2016, the deputy of the Department of Cortés Jamie Enrique Villegas has decided to resign from the anti-corruption party based on the reasons that they had differences with the leaders of the party and they don't allow him to participate on decisions of importance. But later in July 2017 he decided to be a member of the National Party of Honduras and to be candidate for the general election in 2017 also on the same month of December 2016 the deputy of Camayagua Liliam Villatoro has decided to resign from the anti-corruption party because she has expressed with the leader of the party Salvador Nasralla and they don't allow her to participate on the sessions of the party with new ideas. On the half days of July 2017, the deputies Rafael Padilla and David Reyes of the Department Departments of Francisco Morazan and Choloteca respectively, have joined to the Innovation and Unity Party, based on the reason that the two deputies they don't want their original party, the anti-corruption party to be led by the Congresswoman Marlene Alvarenga. On the first days of August 2017, the deputies of Cortés Fatima Mina and Anibal Calix has decided to join as deputies of the Innovation and Unity Party, based on the reason that they don't want to be members of the anti-corruption party led now by Congresswoman Marlene Alvarenga. As of August 2017, none of the elected congressmen of the National Party, PINU, and UD have resigned from their respective party affiliation in the last days of September 2017. The deputies of the independent group Walter Banigas and Lillian Villatoro of the departments of Cortez and Camayagua respectively has decided to join as members of the Liberal Party of Honduras based on the reason that their original party, the anti-corruption party no longer exists thus, increasing the Liberal Caucus to 33. On the last Last days of October 2017, the deputy of Cortes Luis Redondo has decided to join as deputy of the Innovation and Unity Party, based on the reason that he won't be a member of the anti-corruption party led by Congresswoman Marlene Alvarenga. The previous election was held on 25 November 2001. Following that election, which saw Ricardo Maduro elected president, party strengths in Congress stood as follows. Honduras also returns deputies to the supranational Central American Parliament. Topic: President. The President of the National Congress of Honduras is the presiding officer, speaker of the National Congress of Honduras. Topic: Presidents of the Congress 20th century. Topic. List of presidents since 1982 Topic. See also Politics of Honduras Government of Honduras Supreme Court of Honduras Executive Branch of the Government of Honduras List of legislatures by country